Let's take a look at the A-frame cabin with the light kit installed. This is LEGO Ideas set 21338 with the light tailing kit added. You can see in the trees they mix the colors. So you have three different greens making up the colors on the leaves and in the back you have yellow and gold. When we come over to the other side of the cabin near the woodshed, you have the red and orange tree and the little blue bird on top. Now let's take a look inside so you can see the very special welcome mat. It says Lego and there's the water heater next to the chopped wood. And we'll open up the side and take a look in at the two stories. On the second floor, we can see the very comfortable looking bed and a reference to one of my favorite sets, another Lego Ideas set, the tree house. Even after building it three times, I still love that set. And it is rumored to retire this year. Then back behind the bed, you can see a reference to the fan designer's other design, the blue cottage. And we get another glimpse of those beautiful trees and the stonework underneath them. I just love the colors. It's a small little space, but they do a lot with it. And there's even an otter sitting on the rocks. Isn't he cute? And how they did the canoe is really interesting with these poles that you can flip the canoe over on. And it's stable and secure. And then underneath the canoe, you have all of the life preservers and whatever they put in that green bottle. I'm not sure. You can also see where the lights are from the light kit on the moth. But this moth in the front of the cabin is not lit up. There is, however, a little light behind our minifig under the stairs, hiding another little critter. Let's see if we can get this step off so we can see him. Do you see the little frog under there? You know, Lego and their frogs. <laughs> and, they and a very friendly and curious squirrel. You see another lantern lit up and the lights coming in from the inside. A lit up moth and a closer view of that red tree and the blue bird. That's all the critters. It is so nice and easy to take off the roof on either side because it just slides right on. And we can take a better look at the kitchen, the blue milk on the counter. We have to stop by on the second floor and see that magnificent camera with the extended lens. And then we'll return to the first floor to see the desk area with the typewriter and the teapot and the reference to the police station and the donut thief. From the second story, we can see next to the desk, you have the umbrella stand and the sign above the door. Over on this side, we have our little music corner with the guitar and the record player. Let's flip to the back of the cabin where we have a water heater and I'm guessing that's some kind of petrol tank because of the red, green, and white. And this outdoor shower, look at the little pink soap. And the towel hanging oh let's straighten that up there we go that's better and we can see the back of that rock area a little better there is a tiny bit of water back there peeking through and another frog we'll put the canoe back on another look at those colors and now let's replace the roof on each side and you can see how quickly and easily those go right back on it does need to be placed just right but it doesn't really click into place so sometimes it takes a little finagling there is a little black exposed so let's get that on just right there we go 
Now I want to take just a moment to show you the windows on the roofs. I found it very interesting that they had us slide them in the way they did, as if they could open the windows or we could take off the windows if you want to see inside beyond them. And they do slide back in really easily, almost as easily as the roof itself slides on. Now let's take this down to our nature area and place it next to the other cabins. I think right next to Hocus Pocus and in front of the treehouse is perfect. This was a super fun build. Lots of great details and beautiful colors. And the light kit was very simple to add for this one. It only took me about an hour. I do recommend picking up the set before it retires. It is expected to retire this year, along with the tree house. The A-frame cabin would probably be a better investment because it has been on the shelf for just a short period of time. And because it's the Lego Ideas, it is not as prevalent as some of the other sets, so you can't get it at every store. What do you think? Do you think this is going to be a good investment or do you just want one for yourself?